Welcome to the Biobalance HealthCast, episode number 490, Nitric Oxide and the Benefits It Can Bring to Your Heart. Biobalance Health features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of Biobalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the newly released book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of T replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at Biobalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. This week, we are going to be talking about a product that is available in Dr. Maupin's office that uh, is, is not only hers, but at physicians' offices. You can't buy it at Walgreens or some pharmacy, but you can get it from a doctor's office. And it's an over-the-counter, uh, non-prescription, except it's restricted to medical offices and its sales, uh, dissolving tablet goes in your mouth. And it, its primary ingredient is nitrous oxide. You let it dissolve in your mouth, and it puts that into your system. Now, why would you want to use that? What's it used for? So on. I can tell you that. Okay. So nitrous oxide is is a um, chemical that your arteries make when you're young. So your arteries actually secrete nitrous oxide when they're stimulated so that they need to dilate. They make nitrous oxide, and your blood vessel dilates. That's what... That's the basis of Viagra, Cialis. Those drugs stimulate nitric oxide production in the blood vessels. But they can, if I understand correctly, they can direct it to a region of your body. So it stimulates the opening of those blood vessels. In your pelvis. In your pelvis. But it does it everywhere. It does it everywhere. When you take take Viagra, I mean, that's why men often get headaches when they take Viagra. Because they get a kind of a migraine-like uh, vascular dilation in their head. Okay. So sometimes in both of them. Anyway, so um, <laughs> so they so they get a, like a migraine, so they use a different one so that the, Cialis may not do that to them, so they change brands. This, this supplement is very much like uh, Cialis and Viagra. It stimulates the vessels to dilate. So... It's very good for getting oxygen to your brain. I mean, we, we've, we've tried it on a couple of our younger um, staff members, and, um, and Joe said it made him think better. He was like, you know, it's so it, it gives you more oxygen to the yeah. areas you need it to. So, But that's not why we're, why we're writing it, but go ahead. Well, Dr. Lee was interested in whether or not that effect could be identified and measured mm-hmm. so that... Uh, we could look at another issue. Mm-hmm. And the other issue is that as we age, many, if not most of us, build up a plaque deposit inside our blood vessels, mm-hmm. which has the net effect of shrinking the amount of blood flow, mm-hmm. which makes your heart pump harder. It also makes your to, vessels not dilate very well. And they're not flexible mm-hmm. or fluid the way they are when you're younger. Mm-hmm. And so that leads to an increased risk of heart disease mm-hmm. and heart attacks. And so if you find something that can reduce the amount of plaque in your arteries and Mm -hmm. your blood vessels, you then can projectively say, we've lowered the risk of heart attacks for this person because their blood flow is better and their their veins are more supple Mm -hmm. uh, and and malleable. Let me back up for heart attack for a second. The reason you have a heart attack is not your heart, but not the muscle itself. It's the vessels that go to your heart. So the vessel, there are multiple vessels, they all have names, and the vessels that go to your heart get plaque on them and they narrow and they get really small um, areas that can carry blood to the heart itself. It's the only muscle that works all the time to keep you alive. So it needs oxygen all the time. So it's the first one, first thing that you'll notice if you have plaque all over your body, you'll notice it in your heart. So you don't just get plaque in your heart, you get it everywhere. And so the muscle is hypoxic. It's like if you were held underwater or if you were 
if somebody put a bag over your head. That's how what happens to your heart. It has no oxygen. Even if you're breathing, it's not getting to your heart. So your heart muscle, it hurts when you, when it's hypoxic, and then the muscle dies. At the end of that vessel, where it's not getting any blood flow, it dies. And so that muscle has kind of a floppy, it becomes thin, it doesn't pump very well. So that's what a heart attack is. What we're talking about is how do you clean out those arteries without surgery? How do you, how do you keep them healthy as we age and keep us from getting cholesterol and plaque on it, uh, um, plaque on the vessel or on the inside of the vessel? So there's a term I've read and heard, and mm -hmm. I don't know that I know the anatomy. Mm -hmm. Where is the carotid artery? What is that? Carotid arteries are the two arteries that go from from your heart. They go through a couple other arteries that then lead up to your brain. They're the primary source of primary oxygen for your flow brain. Primary source to your brain for and oxygen and blood. Right. But they're pretty easy to look at, too, because they're right underneath skin, uh, fat, muscle, and they're right in here. You can feel your pulse in your neck. That's yeah. your carotid. I remember my grandmother smoked all her life, and just before she died, she went to the hospital and had surgery where they had to try to, I guess, use forceps to pull the plaque yeah, out of her. Yeah, clean out all the fat and goo and everything yeah. out of and, and that has a risk of causing a stroke because... You, you disconnect your brain from the well, oxygen. All the junk that's in yeah. there, if you're pulling it out, fine, but what if a little piece gets Bro breaks loose. off yeah. and then it goes to your brain and that's called a stroke. It's similar to the heart attack, only your brain dies instead of your heart. Well, so, it killed her. Yeah. She died from it. And that's a, it's a dicey operation. Yeah. And so you don't want that operation. <laughs> No one wants that operation no. unless they absolutely, it's life or death. No other choice. So yeah. one of the ways, I always try to look, step back and go, okay, the, the smoking, of course, was a mistake. Yeah. But because that made that so much worse. But she might have had plaque anyway. But you back <sighs> yeah, up. She was heavy. Should have stopped smoking, should have eaten properly, should have exercised. However, she might still have plaque genetically. So one of the things that affects even plaque genetically, yeah. is nitric oxide. If you take a, this supplement, and now they're saying if you take a low-dose Viagra every day, which is it's providing similar, the same thing, yeah. yet it's more Nitrous, expensive, right. then it will increase nitric oxide, and it will clean out your blood, your blood vessels, and it will help dilate your blood vessels. Whenever you exercise, you need to, or you get upset, your vessels actually dilate so that you can get more oxygen so to your So when you say tissues. it will clean out your blood vessels, not the way that my grandma was no. at risk from a surgery trying no. to do that. that just it dissolves it. Dissolve it and let the blood flow take it away. Right. Like it, it does dissolves any it other over toxin time. in your body. Right. And they found that, Ni that Viagra does that. Yeah. So now they're starting to use, or, or anti-aging doctors are preventively right. using, because we're all about preventing the surgery, preventing the disability, preventing the stroke or the heart attack. We're all trying to, to use something that is benign, that has no side effects, that has no problems, and give it to, the, give it to our patients to, to, to prevent all those bad things. We have done any number of podcasts. So, I mean, we're almost to episode 500 here. And in several of those, we have mentioned that the need to use something like Viagra mm -hmm. to get a satisfying erection is actually a five-year early warning indicator of the potential for a heart attack. Right. And so you and your doctor need to know that, and that needs to be part of the discussion mm -hmm. that you have when they put you on Viagra. But what you're saying is anti-aging doctors are now starting to use the low-dose daily amount of Viagra, not so much to give you an erection, but to help clean out your blood vessels and your arteries from all this mm -hmm. plaque buildup. Right. Give and it more nitric oxide. Time, exactly. So Dr. Lee wanted mm -hmm. to identify whether or not there's a, there's a test that they can use to measure something and that if they can measure it, then they can assess more accurately your risk of a heart attack. And how well this works. And so uh, what he wanted to measure was something called the carotid intima media. media. And that's the two inner linings of the carotid artery. artery. It's, it's the whole, it goes around, it's, it, it's the whole circum or the whole circumference of the carotid artery. It's the innermost the thickness, lining. Yes. And so, because what they're measuring is the thickness the, of plaque buildup already in the artery. Mm -hmm. And they want to know if Neo40, nitric oxide, 
will reduce that thickness. Mm -hmm. And so he found, a, a, he did what's called a pilot study, and he found 10 individuals who were asymptomatic. They had no sign of heart attack. Mm -hmm. They were not on statins. They weren't on any uh, heart medicines, mm -hmm. although actually all 10 of them were on supplements to their, their diet for mm -hmm. other things like DIM and, mm -hmm. and the stuff you... Vitamins. Yeah, mm -hmm. vitamins. So he found these 10 people, and he took... Did, there's a... Uh, there's a specific machine a that machine does this that, that he measures used, it. That he bought from Italy mm -hmm. uh, to measure it and did it first, gave them two doses a day of Neo 40 for up to 10 weeks, then did another round, mm -hmm. and then had them come in and see him and did a third round and mm -hmm. averaged all the results. And every individual for the left carotid and the right carotid showed a reduction in plaque just from taking the Neo 40 twice a day for 10 weeks. So you can't know how, how exciting how that is. amazing that is. We have never found something that dissolved plaque before. Right. Ever. Yeah. This is, this is like, you know, he should get the Nobel prize because if we can do this and I mean, the cost of this compared to the cost of disability of heart and, surgery. and heart surgery well, and, stint put in. Right. I mean, all of those, Plus the risk of your life. Why and and do I want to have chest pain? No, I mean I did. Right. You know you don't have. It, it's like living with death all the time to have chest pain. So this is something that will actually prevent all of those things: the cost of it, and then the emotional cost, and the physical cost, and the cost to your family and nursing homes and whatever. This is amazing. I mean, he's done. He has done a very short study, small study, but then that study is going to be increased. He had to get the first study in before he. Right. Before he did the bigger study. Builds a population. The, but, but what we're wanting to say is almost all doctors know about Viagra and Cialis, and, and they administer them for, to men. And mm -hmm. because when men reach a certain age, they start to notice that it interferes with their sexual function, which is really important mm -hmm. to them. And they talk to their doctor, and the doctors know this will help. What they may not know about is Neo40. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a newer, more restricted access supplement. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Lee's wanting to measure and get data to show the medical community this works as well as or better than uh, Viagra or Cialis. And cheaper. And cheaper. So, but it has the same net result. If it cleans out your plaque, if it makes your blood flow better, gets you mm -hmm. better oxygen supply, you think better, you are less at risk for muscle damage to your heart. And your muscles grow better because you get more oxygen to your muscles. Yeah. And they don't hurt so much after you work out because part of this is they you can't get as much oxygen. You make more uh, lactic acid and then you hurt because you can't clear it out of the muscles. When you take this, it clears it out. So we are doing this podcast today to talk about what Dr. Maupin learned at these conferences and brought home to her office and made available mm -hmm. to her patients. And we would like for you to know about it so that you can ask your physician to find out whether or not Neo40 or some other similar uh, acting agent can be identified to help you reduce your risk of heart attack several years ahead of time so that you don't have to go on statins and you don't have to have the cost and the risk of a heart attack. Dr. Lee yeah. has a website and you can actually, his name is Edwin Lee, and you can actually go to his website and find doctors in your area that carry it, carry okay. the Neo40. Right. So if you want to go to that doctor and just, I'm, I'm sure they'll just sell it to you. Yeah. You don't have to become their patient necessarily, but, but that's where you can access it. And remember, if it's on Amazon, it's going to be there. It's not going to be the doctor number. Like there's 60 in a box yeah. in a doctor's office. They're selling the 40 in a box version, right. like reselling it on Amazon for the same amount as it, as doctors so as sell middleman making more money off. Right. That. So as the doctors sell the 60 tablets. So don't do it on Amazon. I mean, that's just that you're going to be not be getting what you need for your money. Okay. So, so this is something that we're really excited about and we hope you are too, but, so that you can prevent disease. And, and Dr. Lee's trying to find medically documented supporting data. You have anecdotal stories. I mean, yes. you, you've told me stories of a half dozen different people mm -hmm. that have taken Neo 40 and almost within hours are telling you, I felt a surge of energy or mm -hmm. clean thinking or clear headedness. I work out better. I, yeah. But it lasts all day. It's not like it's just. Right. Just a four But it's hour. immediate from because you yeah. 
you suck on this lozenge and it goes directly into your bloodstream. Yeah. So, and you can use it with Viagra, the low dose Viagra. So it's possible to use. Yeah, you don't want to overdose on the two together. No, you don't want to use. Again, the, talk to your physician yeah, about the, dosing. The regular dose of Viagra would probably be too much with the Neo Forty, but the low dose is fine. Okay. And as always, thank you for listening. And be healthy. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance Healthcast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.